hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this gorgeous ball dress for my daughter if you would like to see her achieve it then keep on watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i upload a video please like this video and share thanks so to make this um, red dress i have my tool here and I already cut it out. I have seven yards of two here. I already cut my seven yards of two into 15 inches. Into 15 inches in um, the length of the dress. That's what I'm using, 15 inches. So it's already 15 inches. And I've separated it. You can see one, two, three, four, five. I think this into two, six. In those six pieces, what I did was that that seven years I cut it into three and a half. That's two pieces, and then that two pieces I, I after dividing into two, so each two pieces now I have to cut it into 15, 15. If you get what I mean, that's the width of the fabric now is 16 inches, but it's seven years. Now that's 16 inches, I have to cut it into four places, making 15, 15 inches into four places. So that's why it's going to be bulky. I'm going to gather each two. I'm going to gather it so and then i have another two that one is the soft two it's not really just so soft that much then this one is um maybe medium to hard two i'm going to be putting this underneath it just to give it that extra puff and this is just one yard and then i have the skin net i'll be using for the up of the dress i have my lining which is two yards I have my duchess satin which I'll be using for the top of the dress. I'll be using maybe half yard or a quarter of a yard. I don't know yet. So so let's quickly draft the bodies. I'm gonna be drafting the bodies and I'll use these bodies to cut the I'll use the bodies to cut the top of the dress. So to draft the bodies, I'm making this for four years. I'm just going to this will be my starting point. You have to have a starting point. So now you're going to rule out your starting point. Next thing you're going to do on the starting point, you're going to take your tape and measure your length. The length I'm working with is um, the half length I'm working with is nine inches, but I'm going to, I don't want to use nine inches for this one. I want to make it nine and a half. So I need to have one inch seam allowance, which will make it 10 and a half. So from here, you're going to measure 10 and a half. It's very easy to draft them um, a kid's bodies. So next thing you're going to insert the shoulder. The shoulder is 9.5. Like I said, you have to look for half of 9.5. All you need to do is put your tape here and then mark the middle. This is the middle. Now you're going to mark that on your parts and paper. And then the ammo is 5.5. I'm not using 5.5. I'm going to be using 6. I don't want the ammo type. I want it opened. So I'm going to drop down 6 inches here. And I'll roll a straight line. So now we're going to connect these two lines together. We're still going to extend this line. So we are just drafting the front bodies. Now, the next thing we'll take is the neck width. The neck width I'm working with is 2.75. So, you can use any neck width you want right here. So, I'll be working with a neck depth of 2.5. So, now you're going to connect these two points together. This point, you have to connect it to this one. You can choose to do a square neck, any neck you like. On the arm O, you are going to drop down by half an inch. And you're going to connect these two lines together. Now we're going to find the midpoint of here to here, which is five and a half. Now we we'll have to look for the midpoint. Just bend your tip. And then you mark. On this midpoint, we're going to come in with a half an inch. Depending on how curvy you want the inside to be. Now, this is our chest line. On our chest line, which is the bust, the bust is 23. We're going to divide 23 into four places. It's only the shoulder, I think, you divide into two. Now, this is, I'm just going to mark it right here. That is 5.7. 5.7. 
and I'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance. Now we're going to connect this point to this point. First of all, you connect it to this one that came inside. So this is thing we're going to insert the waist, which is um 22 inches, and we're going to divide 22 by 4. So now we're going to insert that measurement here. And we're going to add our one inch seam allowance, and then we'll connect the line. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take half or a quarter of an inch around the neckline and the shoulder. This is what we will use to um, stitch it, like turn it inside. And then you will connect those lines together. So this will be where we'll be cutting. We'll be cutting along here like so. So now we'll cut the back. For the back, we're going to draw our starting line. Next thing we're going to take one inch for the zipper and connect the line. So now we're going to insert the shoulder measurements, which is half of nine and a half, nine and a half divided into two. We're going to insert it there. Pretty much the same thing. I'm going to drop down by six inches. I'm using six inches. And this will be our chest line. Now we'll connect these two lines. Now we insert the two and two point seven five our shoulder. And then now you will determine what you want to the neck width, sorry, neck width two point seven five. Now you're going to determine how you want your back to be. I'm just gonna take one and a half first for the depth of the back. Remember the front I took two, two and a half, but for the back now I'm taking one and a half, so I just connect the two lines. I'm going to come down half an inch for the shoulder slope. And then you connect these two lines together. Go in. So now just insert our chest measurement, the bust, and just mark it. Now I'm going to be marking from the zipper line. You mark it. The half length I'm working with is nine and a half, so I'm working with ten and a half. On this 10 and a half, we're going to insert the waist measurements. And then I'm going to add our one inch. And our one inch right here too. I'm going to connect these two lines together. And then we'll connect the shoulder slant to this chest line. So this is our back armhole. Next thing, we're going to put um, our sewing allowance around the neckline and the shoulder. And then you'll connect it. So now we're going to cut it out. So this is for the back. I'm just going to uh, curve it down to the end of the zipper line. So now we've got the front. So now this is the front bodies. So, so because the front body has yoke, like I'm adding skin net to the top, I'm going to drop down by four inches. This is to measure from here. Or I can drop down by Depending on how deep you want it, from this point here, I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure four and a half. Actually, I'm dropping down by five inches. So let me first trace the line. So this is four and a half that I've traced now. This is four and a half. I'm using. I'm just doing a, a, a straight one. If you want to curve it, you can put your ruler here on this four and then trace it, or you can come down a little bit and then you curve it. You curve it like so. You just curve it. I'm not doing straight. Like I'm just doing a, um, a straight cut. So I've come down by four and a half, four and a half. Now I'm going to take half inch from the bottom. By the time I take this half inch, that means I've dropped down by five inch. That's the neck depth now is five inch because I take four and a half. That half inch there is what I will use to sew it as an attach the top to the down, join them together. So for the up now, after cutting it, you're going to add one inch to the top because when you add one inch to the top, you are using the half inch that you took away. Because now we took half inch away from this down. 
now you take you add one inch to it guys half inch which you have already taken from the down and then half inch that you used to join it so now this one you're going to cut out another pattern or if if you don't want to cut out pattern when you want to cut out your fabric you make sure you add extra one inch to it so this is how i normally cut my own yoke i'm going to use this to cut out the main fabric so for the back so if you trace like so meaning you are giving it a very deep v so now when you cut it like so you make sure you add one inch to this upper part so now i'm just going to add extra half i feel like this is too i feel like it's too deep so by the time i cut it here i will use this half inch to sew it when i use this half inch to sew it at least it, it's still deep so now i'm gonna use this to cut out your tool your skin tool this will be for the fabric don't forget when you are cutting your your tool you have to add one inch to it but for this one you can cut it exactly like this because this is where we used to turn it i um, attach it to the to the up so now i'll start by cutting my tool let me cut my tool first my tool i already folded my tool into four because it's very soft like you don't want to fold it only one and cut it no it's gonna be um i'm going to double it that way you're not scared that your tool with here on time because this tool is too light this is the down this is for the back perfect now to cut it don't forget you are going to add one inch and then you cut it now after cutting it you're going to open it up because this is for both sides now so now i have four pieces here which is them um, for both sides like so like so before i put this for the back so now I'll cut the front so don't forget your one inch also you can choose to notch the middle of the front so that you make sure when you sew it now what you're going to do you're just since it's two pieces you cut out you're just going to sew it like so the arm o and turn it flip it over so we're going to cut the duchess satin so i have these duchess like a pieces so i don't want to waste my fabric I'm just going to use this one to cut out what I need. And then make sure to notch the middle. So this is the front. Let me show you now. Going to sew, sew it together. You can see that. The same thing with the back. So now you are just going to cut out lining because now you have your front piece and your back piece this is the back i'm gonna show you an example this is for the back can you see that this is the back piece so now you're just going to take your pattern and cut out lining so for the down this medium to hard net i'm going to divide it i'm going to cut it like a full circle and the length of the down part i'm working with remember it's 15 inches so now i'm going to divide her waist measure by, by 6.28 which is m22 um, divided by 6.28 gave me 3.5 so i'm going to add 3.5 to 15 inches which will make it 18.5 now i'm going to i want to gather this flay a little bit this will give it volume so now i'm going to take away five inches instead of um i'm going to take away five inches instead of oh you can take away as much as you want let me just measure my fabric first and see what i have and I'll know how many I'll take in a way to get the circle. So you measure the shortest part first. So what I have here is 28. And I need 15 inches. So that would, let me say 28. So I'm going to measure 28 here too. So now, let's see, 28. So I'm going to mark 28 round. You will put your tip at this point and then mark your 28 round. And then now we'll take our 15 inches. I'm going to take 15 inches like so. And I'll come here and measure what I have. So I'm going to mark whatever I have 15. I'm going to mark it round. Make sure you're connecting the lines. And then you can cut it out. So now. This one, you might be looking at it that it's too wide. All I'm going to do is gather it just to give it volume under the skirt. And I'm going to open it on one side.
and then I'll, I'll gather it. So next thing, I'm going to cut my lining. So for my lining, this is 30 in 30 inches in the width, and then the length is same two yards. I'm going to divide that 30 inches into two, making 15 inches. And I'm just going to notch the middle. You do the same for the second one. So I'm going to fold the bottom of the lining, and then I'll gather it up. After gathering it up, I'll not those other two that I've cut, I'll gather those ones and then I'll step them. I'm going to layer them. And then for this one, I'll also I'll just use this one to turn it out. After joining the up to the down, this is what I'll use to turn it out so that none of the two will be touching the child. And then this first lining now, this remaining two, I'm going to use it. I'm going to pleat on it because we're looking for volume. So now I'm just going to fold it like so. And then I'm going to mark six inches. And I'll cut it. I'm gonna use this like so. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to gather this up. I've always been doing this on my videos. I usually don't join them together. I won't join all of this together. No. I'm just going to gather it. Make sure you leave one inch before you start gathering it at all because you don't want these two touching the child. This two it can choke. It's kind of choky. So I'll just gather them on top. And then gather the edge before I'll attach the tool on it. So now as you can see, I've done the tutu. This is the bottom inside. This is the lining I pleated on top. So I just gathered all the steps and they are separate like you can see. You can see them, they are all separate, they are not together. So this is the joining at the back, you can see. The joining at the back. So I separated all of them close it so now i've also gone ahead to join the bodies this is the body this is the front and this is the back so i need to attach the up to the um bottom this is the back of the bodies you can see that so i'm going to put zipper well before i put the zipper i'll first attach the up to the and bottom this is the front on the inside so now i'll take the middle of this one i'll take the middle of my two and i'm gonna sew it around after sewing it around before i'll attach the zipper so after attaching the zipper i will use this second lining like i always do i'm just going to throw it like so before i do that i'll first of all run the bottom of the lining and then I'm going to sew it around so and stop around the zip line before I'll close it. So I'm done making it. You can see the dress. This dress is very full. You can see. So I'll go ahead and show you the inside. This is the inside. This is the back. And this is the front. So I just have one more thing left. This is the back so i fix the zip up so the last thing i'm just going to do i'm going to put this applique to beautify it so i'm going to place the applique like so just to add beauty to it i'm going to use hand needle tuck it and the dress will be ready so to fix the applique i'm just going to secure it with pins first So now I'm going to trim here. So this is what the dress looks like. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. Please help me like this video and don't forget to share it. Someone might just need it. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.